Awesome. Do you have specific, any specific targets for increased alumni giving, such as 5 or 10 percent of annual budget? Uh, I'm not sure there's a specific number that's out there. They may have one in mind that they'd like to get. Again, I would like to see it go up 100%. But that's just maybe thinking. Although on some of the blogs I've read, uh, there was one blog that said she didn't realize that the school needed money and she was going to start giving every year now. And I think that's wonderful. But I was just wondering why she doesn't give any up till now. But every little bit helps. And I thank everybody who wants to join in now and start donating. Uh, and now we're going to talk about a few uh, uh, extreme options. Uh, how would you uh, react to elimination of some academic programs? Um, if it was uh, purely for financial reasons, it would be a shame. If it's for reasons to upgrade the school and uh, to teach things that are important in the coming decades, then that would be okay. Uh, or substantially altering or eliminating certain expensive programs of less essential importance to Cooper's mission? Um, I don't know if there's any uh, program that's less important to Cooper's mission. Cooper's mission is to give education second to none. Uh, it doesn't state which field that education should be in. How would you react to reduction of faculty or staff? Uh, I don't know if that's really possible. You know, in, in large schools when they make cuts, when they have, you know, the schools that have thousands and thousands of students and they have you know, like four sections of the one on one, lecture wall with three hundred kids <coughs> TA and teaching, you know, they combine them. there's ways they can stop they can solve that problem and have some savings, but you know, we don't have that kind of redundancy as a cut. It's a very small faculty and staff. and this has been brought up selling forty one Cooper Square. Um, there's no reason to sell 41 Cooper Square. It's a building that we need. And if we were to sell 41 Cooper Square, where would we teach the students? Where would we have to be? Where would we have a school? Not a question for Okay, so we're not selling 41 Cooper Square. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have a series of questions. Um, would it make more sense to cut the student, faculty, and administrative body than to enter the scholarship? Uh, no, because that doesn't give us the same return. Has the student to teacher ratio been explored as a basis for cutbacks with faculty? No, we've already discussed that we're running a pretty lean ship here. And there we, there's really no room for cuts without affecting the quality of the program. <laughs> Since any bit of belt tightening is tangible savings, can we, as the Cooper community, uh, what can we as the Cooper community do in order to save as much as we can in terms of operating expenses? Um, well, with Mike, he said, we don't need to tighten the belts anymore, we need better fitting pants. Um, you know, it, it, there's not, just, there's not much, again, that we can do to save. The, 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 the solution is not in savings, the solution is in more income. That's really what we have to do. What is the projected income from the uh, lease of the engineering building, the old engineering building, and when will it kick in? Well, we got paid in full for the $97 million. That's already in our pocket, so to speak, and some of it's already spent. Uh, we will be getting about $2 million a year in tax equivalency, uh, and that will kick in when the building's completed. You have a time frame for the completion of the building? I think in uh, 2013, I think, is the year. Uh, while Cooper Union is not, is not part of the New York City higher education system, it is nonetheless a very special educational resource within the city. Since Mayor Bloomberg has built himself as the education mayor, has anyone appealed to the Bloomberg Foundation on behalf of Cooper Union? Uh, and has there been a broader outreach to any other foundation? We're constantly going out the foundations. Uh, the particulars of the Bloomberg Foundation, I'm not sure, so I can't respond to that one. But Rest assured, every educational institution in New York City is looking at the Bloomberg Foundation to solve their problems. And so, you know, uh, I wouldn't put too much weight on that. Is the board considering cuts in administrative benefits, such as the housing supply to the president and other perquisites and bonuses? No. Um, no, basically not. They're, most of the benefits are uh, in union contracts, and we can't play with them. President Berusha is being paid a salary based on what he's doing. And the housing, you know, the Stuyvesant Street house is not just his residence. We use that for functions, by the way. The first couple of floors are particularly used for school functions. Uh, no, there's no, no, no cutting. There's also a problem with 
on the skip would probably be on the skip to uh, the college. Okay. Um, As a matter of fact, the story on that was when the person who owned uh, the house wanted to donate the house to the school, there was a mortgage on that house. And you can't donate a property that's encumbered by a mortgage. So uh, the loan came up, stepped up to the plate, and paid off the $250,000 mortgage. So the house was free and clear, and it was donated to the school. So we need more loan than that. Uh, would you request a salary cut from the administration? Uh, no. Would it be more effective for the development office to work on commission rather than salary? Uh, I believe that's illegal. Okay. <laughs> Is it true that Cooper was able to raise $60 million without borrowing money for the new academic building, and could such fundraising tactics to, uh, be applied to this crisis? Um, well, part of the, the $60 million was part of the capital campaign, and one of the reasons we raised that money was because we were in fact, selling the new academic building as the, the goal for the capital campaign. So uh, you want us to build another building and raise another $60 million? No, I, I don't think there's no connection. No connection. Um, okay, we're almost... I mean, we're constantly trying to raise money, but uh, yeah, we will have another capital campaign in the near future. You know, most of are constantly acting in the capital campaign when they finish when they start uh, sticking in uh, Yeah, we just have a, a, a that does important question. Uh, what is the feasibility of starting a 1% campaign to ask all alumni to contribute 1% of their annual income to Cooper? A number of alumni educated that uh, this is something within their needs. Well, I hope they start doing it even if we have a program. It's, it's, I, we're still 2%. I mean, also, I don't want to limit it. If someone is capable of giving 10%, give 10%. You know, they don't want to, you know, one of the worst mistakes for making fundraising is to ask somebody for a million dollars if they were prepared to give you five million dollars. So you have to be very careful about that. But there should be some, I, I could see some kind of ongoing campaign. I think it would be a good idea. I mean, for instance, with NYC, I have a thing where I give them you know, 10 bucks a month on a credit card. I don't feel it, I don't see it, but they're getting $120 a year from me, which is more than the average gift to Cooper Union from the online. So we, we should start something like that. What is the possibility of expanding school based academic programs, such as summer baccalaureate degrees, including residency charges in the dorms, opening up the shops to paying a paying membership or for rent for local companies? Additional lectures or events, etc. Are these ideas too complicated or too small scale? Yeah, you know, we, we do rent the dorms out during the summer. Renting the shop out would probably not make sense for an insurance, you know, issue. It would be really astronomical to cover people in that kind of a facility. Uh, I'm sure we have good coverage for the students use, but that would be it. Uh, um, fee-based academic programs, we're looking, we started the master's programs at engineering, and 